This video documents the impact of the retractable roof greenhouse on temperatures and crops at Agricola Pony in Culiacan, Mexico during 2011. There are four blocks of retractable roof houses, each 10.6 hectares, totaling 42 hectares. A total of 48 motors will retract all 42 hectares of roofs in six minutes. The houses are designed to protect crops from excessive cold, heat, wind, and the impact of rain. You will now see what happened during both the freeze which occurred on February the 3rd, 2011, and the hot dry conditions during May and June. It is Thursday, February the 17th, and we are in the retractable roof at Agricola Pony in Culiacan, Mexico. It is now 14 days after the freeze where temperatures of minus 6 were measured outside. You can see there is some cold damage to some of the fruit that was small at the time of the freeze, but new sets of flowers have already started to develop. It is May the 16th, 2011, and we are in Culiacan, Mexico. You can see that it's very arid here. There has not been rain for six months. The outside temperature is 27, sorry, 37 Celsius, and the relative humidity outside is 24%. We're now going to go into the retractable roof to see the change in the climate and the impact on the crop response. This greenhouse is 500 meters long and 10.6 hectares in size. The roof covering is a white woven polyethylene covering that will last 8 to 12 years. You can see on the plants that there is a very strong balance between leaves and fruit. They are only spraying garlic here for control of insects. No agrochemicals are being used. And we can see that the relative humidity has already increased to 47% and the air temperature is 37.8.
Over here you will see different peppers and cucumbers being grown in the same house as the tomatoes. These peppers have had no special treatment. They have had the exact same irrigation and nutrition as the tomatoes. This crop was planted simply for demonstration and learning purposes. And so nothing was done to assist in pollination or in control of foliar diseases or insects. Looking at the cucumbers, you can see there's no foliar diseases. And there's no sign of any eggs. There is some white fly present. but nothing that is causing any significant damage to the plant. So again with the temperature being 37 outside with a 28 percent relative humidity these cucumbers are performing quite well given the fact that the outdoor conditions are adverse and there had been no special irrigation or nutrition for these plants. The one side wall from the flat roof house has RCO2 white uncoated installed and the other wall has regular clear insect net. We're going to check the soil temperatures in full sun under the RCO2 white uncoated and under the insect net. So it's 12.35 on October 31st and the soil temperature in full sun is 61 to 63 degrees. When we go under the insect net we're measuring 45 to 46 Celsius. Now we are going to go under the white plastic. And the soil temperature is 37 to 39 degrees and it was 46 under the insect net so it's approximately 9 degrees cooler under the white plastic. The Roma tomatoes here have been planted four weeks ago, or transplanted four weeks ago.
these tomato young plants have just been transplanted. And you can see that this bed right now is in the sun from the opening in the retractable roof. Whereas this bed is shaded from the white plastic. When transplanting, the roof is left 90% closed to prevent excessive transpiration and water stress from the plants being transplanted into full sun. So we can see that the leaves here in full sun is measuring 40, 45 Celsius, which is very high, telling us that the plants are transpiring a lot. When we go into the shadow from the retractable roof, the leaves here are measuring 38 to 39 which is telling us that the roof covering is blocking a lot of the infrared causing a reduction in leaf temperature to help reduce the transpiration rate. When we look at the impact of the direct sunlight on the soil temperatures, here we can see that the soil temperature in full sun right now is 53 Celsius and if the plants were transplanted in the field right now, the 53 Celsius would be causing a very serious negative effect on the stems. When we measure the soil temperature here under the shadow from the retractable roof, we can see we're at 42 Celsius. It is Friday, November the 18th. It is now five days after the big rainstorm and you can see that the soil is drying out because of the fact that they are retracting the roof during the early morning and late afternoon. There was zero foliar diseases after the rain. So there was no need to spray, even though the plants and the soil got saturated from the 30 millimeters of rain that was received five days ago.